is the Mahal Manium and so you're back with another computer video. Uh, yeah, I'm starting a new series, like a redstone tutorial. Well, I mean, it's not even really redstone. I'm mainly showing you guys a bunch of command block commands. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, today I'm going to show you a bunch of scoreboard commands that are really useful in public servers and all that kind of stuff. So, let's get started. Okay. So yeah, these are the scoreboard commands. Uh, the first one I want to show you is, as you can see, in the like middle of the right side of my computer, it says kills, and I have three. But I'm going to show you how to do stuff like that. By the way, it doesn't have to be kills. It could be any of these. Uh, deaths, player kills, total kills, and health. Uh, yeah, but let's, I'll show you how to do that. So you need two command blocks to do this. First one, slash scoreboard objectives, add kills, total kill count. Uh huh, let's go ahead and do that. And then, this one is scoreboard objective, set display, sidebar kicks. And this will set the display for the sidebar. And you can do it for anything. And I'll show you the rest of them. And it doesn't have to be kills. Like I said, it could be any of those signs. Go and do that. And you'll have that slot. And I'll show you. Uh, yeah. Have some fun. Start killing some things. And it'll keep track of that. As you can see, I now have four, five, six. Keep track of that. And it doesn't have to be villagers. It could be anything. But for now, uh, for example, I'll, uh, spawn some cave spiders. So no one likes, oh, whoops, yeah. So no one likes cave spiders. Right? Oh, whoops, got they decline. Nine. Yeah, you could have some fun with this. Doing, like, survival mode or something. It's pretty fun. Uh, and it's also good for, like, PvP servers. You want to keep track of people's kills. Uh, really good. Uh, sorry, let me make sure so you can see my hot bar. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, let's check out the next little set of commands. I better switch it back to peaceful. Uh, yeah, these next ones are, uh, are a bunch of, uh, the underneath you. So, like, you you may have seen some big servers, as you could, when you see, like, another player's, uh, tag, like, uh, gamer tag, underneath it, this looks like will happen. For this particular one, it will show you the player health for the one I'm doing, but like I said, it could be any of those. Uh, so I scored objectives, add health, health, go ahead and click that, and scoreboard objective set display below name and set you could also do uh, uh, you could also do the sidebar which is the one I just did but this is below the name and health so that'll show below the name and now I'm not playing with anybody right now but uh, sometimes I may and if they walk up to me or I walk up to them I'll be able to see how much health like 20 health whatever health will show right underneath their name. This next one's big. It's teams. This one, like, even I'm using them on the server that I make. These are big. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of teams. Scoreboard, uh, this is how you, um, join a team. So, scoreboard teams, well, first of all, someone has to create it. But, scoreboard teams join, and you can do anything here. A red team, and then you have to number one, number two, number three, or whatever, the amount of teams. Uh, but I did red team number one. Uh, and then I have this here. Scoreboard teams join red team number one. And then you could do someone else's uh, name. Like say I have a friend playing with me and you want them to join your team. Just type in their name and do that. And then you could also change the color of your team that will appear. Whoops. That will appear on the sidebar. Uh. But on this one, I did scoreboard teams options. Red team number one, color red. Look at them the red. 
Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you that. Right. Set all these commands. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't even join myself. How stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. Uh you need to be in when there's more people. Most of these the only one that works by yourself is that. But uh, eventually, um I'll go back through these scoreboards with a friend or something and uh I'll show you again. But that'll work. So say uh you want another person to join. When there's two people on the team it'll appear. Uh what on the sidebar we're showing for me right now. Uh, and on the sidebar, I'll show all the members of the team. Like, if, if there are more people, you know, on the team, it would say, I am all of them that are gold. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and shorting mode, you could also do at P, which shows it's at U. And you could also do that. And then you could do all other stuff you could do. Slash scoreboard, teams, options, red team, friendly, fire, true. What that does is it makes it anybody on a certain team, like for example here the red team, we could not kill each other. It's pretty cool for like multiplayer games. Uh, false means we could, but true means we can't. So friendly, fire, keep that in mind. And also one last thing. As you know, on big servers, when you push tab, you can see all these people, and they could be numbers next to them. So, uh, yeah, this is scoreboard, add deaths, death count. Like I said, you could do anything, Not you don't have to do deaths. And then here you have to do scoreboard objectives, set display, lists, lists, deaths. Yeah, it's lists. So, push that, push that, and if there are more than just me, uh, then when I push the tab button, I would, uh, would show how many deaths of people have gone on the server. It's pretty cool. This is all stuff that I would do for, like, PvP stuff. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and over here, this isn't part of this scoreboard, but it's another useful thing that some people don't know about command blocks for saying stuff on servers. So this is say at p, uh, at p means just at me. You could do at all or at a random person. Um, do at all, even though I'm the only one. And you can look at it, it says what's up. As you see the little at thing right before it says that. Well, you could uh, change that. So you go into get a command block. Go to an anvil. Put it in there, and you can rename it. And if you don't want a command block, you can do like this. You can name it What's Up if you want to. On, then place it. And then this is what happens when you do it again. My at P will have your name. So that's a pretty cool little fact. Sorry, I'm on a bad keyboard right now, and I'm sorry if it's shaking, because I'm not using my favorite keyboard. But, uh, yeah. And then, when you do it now, it says, what's up, mod 93, what's up? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed that little Red Sun tutorial video, I'm definitely probably going to make more. And uh, I don't think I'm done with this. I'm probably going to uh, set up a little uh, thingy, play with some friends, and I'll actually show you how some of this stuff works on multiplayer mode. Yeah.
Alright. The only one that works by yourself is this one. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Bahaman Gaming. See here. Signing out.